Today I'm going to be sharing my learnings on how to subtract three digit numbers where the digits are reversed. So I will admit that when I first started doing UIL number sense, I didn't know this trick and I used to make the mistake of constantly doing long subtraction. And while that method is by no means incorrect, it can lead to mistakes and it is nowhere near as fast as our trick. And I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be very difficult to get to that target speed of six seconds per question if you are constantly doing long subtraction. So our trick is nothing but seeing, okay, this is A, B, C minus C, B, A, right? And so the way that we find our answer is just by taking A minus C times 99. That's all there is to it. And you may say, oh, that looks, that, that looks really co complicated to find 99 times 4. How do I do that? Well, 99 times 4 is no different than 4 times 100 minus 1. Agreed? Then we can dist we can do the distributive property and get 400 minus 4, right? So that's really all it is. So you can just take this difference. You see that it's 4. Multiply that by 100. That's 400 minus 4. That's all you have to do. And you can get 396. And it's that simple. It's a very simple trick. Let's try uh, another example. I'm going to say 983 minus 389. That would be the difference between these two is 6. And then so it would be 600 minus 6 or 574. Let's try another one. 123 minus 321. Now before you freak out, this trick also works with negative numbers, right? So you would say the difference here is negative 2 and negative 2 times 99 is equal to is equal to negative 200 plus 2 because you're changing the signs so you would be doing the same thing right negative 2 times 100 minus 1 which would be again negative 200 but because this is negative, it becomes plus 2. But it's generally the same concept. You can almost ignore the fact that it's negative for a second and just figure out this portion of it and then add the negative sign in front of it. That also works um, because we're not, we, we don't have to worry too much about proving our answer um, when we're in the test and we're trying to do it fast. So that's it for this learning. I just wanted to share the quick trick with you. And I'll really appreciate it if you leave your comments, feedback, and further suggestions for additional learnings below. I'll see you in the next video.